How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and we finally have the full, complete and official WhatsApp app for the iPad. And when I say full and official, I do mean it. I'm not talking about WhatsApp web or any other third party app. This is the real deal. This is the same application that you use on your phone right here on your iPad with every single feature and of course an amazing interface. You can make voice calls, video calls, send audio messages, take pictures, send any type of attachment and of course even see your status and of course talk to anybody in real time perfectly. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you how you can actually install it, set it up and start using WhatsApp on your iPad, the real deal. Let's get started. Okay, so first of course, let's go ahead and open up the App Store and please keep in mind that this application is actually universal. So it'll work with any iPad, not just an iPad mini like I'm using, but the iPad Air, the normal iPad, iPad Pro, you name it, okay? So let's go ahead and go to search and then search for WhatsApp as you would and then let it load. And right here, you're gonna see WhatsApp Messenger now available. So they have this new kind of video playing just to make sure that it got the news. WhatsApp for iPad, so awesome. You can go ahead and download it right away. If you have an iPhone and you have WhatsApp on your iPhone, you're gonna see just like mine, just the arrow pointing down because it's the same app. You already have it, okay? But if not, of course, you can go ahead and get it completely free. And just to make things very, very easy, I'm gonna actually have a direct link to this page right here in the description, just to make sure you get the real deal, the real WhatsApp made by WhatsApp, as you can see, because there are a ton of other third party and I don't want you to get the wrong one. Okay, so take a look at the link in the description. After that, go ahead and open it up. And then right here, it's gonna be a very similar experience as logging in to WhatsApp web, you're gonna understand. So let's continue. You're gonna see a QR code and then we're gonna link the iPad to our phone, regardless if it's an iPhone or an Android phone. So go ahead and pick up the phone you have WhatsApp installed, all right? And then of course, open up WhatsApp, go to your settings and then go to linked devices and then link device just as if you were linking a WhatsApp web computer, right? So tap on link device and then face ID or your passcode or whatever, tap on okay and then read the QR code. And then this is very important, leave both devices side by side opened up on this very same page because at this moment they are connecting, logging in and of course transferring all the stuff. So make sure to leave it as it is. It may take a few minutes. It may take just a few seconds. So wait just like that. And then as you can see, you're gonna be prompted to actually put a device name. And I do recommend that you do that, especially if you have multiple devices. I'm gonna put it as iPad 3, because I have done this before. So let's go ahead and save, and then we're good to go. You can exit from your phone, you don't need your phone anymore. This is a completely individual device right now. You don't need your iPhone, this is completely standalone, all right? So let's go ahead and continue for notifications. Uh, so you can choose if you wanna allow or not. I will allow, but it's up to you, of course. And then you're good to go, really. So you can tap on any chat, you can view everything. It's gonna be all synced up, completely synced up, your conversations and everything from months and years ago. You're good to go. And then of course you can start using normally. And something I do wanna show you very quickly is of course the video call feature, which is something everyone wanted on the iPad from day one and that you just can't get on WhatsApp web, but now you can. So if you go ahead here and make a video call and then it's gonna ask for permission for your uh, microphone and camera and so on, you can allow that just for this very first time. And then it's gonna start ringing. And as you can see, it's gonna start ringing on my iPhone right here, okay? So I'm gonna accept. And then the video call is happening and working as you can see perfectly. It's gonna start going crazy because of interference. So I'm gonna stop it, all right? Because it gets a little bit weird when we are super close to each other. But of course it works perfectly normally if you are doing this with somebody else, okay? And then that's it guys. You can go ahead and send audio messages. As I said, the exact same interface, the exact same experience as you're used to. You can send it if you want to. 
take a photo, your stickers, you can add any kind of attachment as you can see. You can go ahead and check the status, so the updates. You can go ahead and check the calls, even communities. So it's a complete experience. And of course, with all your settings and everything you would like to do on your iPad if you are a WhatsApp user. And now the day has finally come. We finally have it, the full app, official, free. We're finally free. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one as usual. Bye bye guys.